Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply this uh, cross validation method from this uh, carrot package to uh, support vector machine algorithm. So in support vector machine algorithm, it's a very complicated algorithm, uh, not like um, the other machine learning algorithms that we discussed here so far because it contain uh, several uh, different uh, hyper parameters that need to be tuned and also it contain uh, several uh, basis functions so so in that sense it's a very uh, complicated uh, machine learning algorithm and uh, we will see uh, and i told you uh, how to appropriately use the uh, carrot package to get uh, better results using support vector machine algorithm all right, so in the support vector machine, uh, we can use different types of kernels. And based on these different types of kernels, these uh, hyperparameters that you should uh, train will also uh, vary. For an example, if you use this uh, SVM uh, linear weights S2 as your kernel, then there would be uh, three hyperparameters that you need to tune. And if you use something like a, a linear one, like SVM linear or something like that, then you have only one hyperparameter, so on. So in uh, in this analysis, I am going to use this hyperparameter called SVM uh, radial sigma. In that case, you should have two hyperparameters, which is called C and C which correspond to the cost and uh, sigma correspond to the variance. All right, so in uh, this kind of a situation where you need to, uh, you need to tune a lot of uh, hype parameters. So the most recommended approach is to first do a random search and then do a grid search based on other observation that you observed based on the random search. So first I'm going to do a random search. So in uh, this type of situation, it is better to use a, a seed value in order to get, uh, get the same results when you reproduce this. So I'm going to first run this uh, train control function. And inside this uh, train function, as I uh, mentioned previously, first you have to define the linear model like I mentioned in my previous couple of videos then the main difference is this a uh, method so here i'm going to use uh, svm uh, radial sigma as my method and i'm going to uh, find a uh, 20 random observations for these uh, hyperparameters so let's run this so if you run this and sometimes it may take some time to run this code depending on your amount of data now if you run this object you can see that based on these different combinations of these sigma and c you can see the accuracy and you can see the best accuracy that means in terms of the highest i mean the best or optimal hyperparameters in terms of the best accuracy is when is uh, the sigma is equals to 0 0.006 and cost is equals to 0 0.0 uh, sorry 0 0.625 that means uh, which situation it should be uh, this one in that case the accuracy is about 0.972 so now I'm going to do a, a, a grid search based on these observed values so now i i have defined my uh, trend control function like this without including the search equals a random and inside this a uh, train function i have included some additional core segment that mentioned about this uh, grid search so i need to uh, choose a length of this uh, sigma in a such a way that it includes this number so i should do this uh, grid search from for an example from 0, 0, 002 to uh, 0, 0, 002 
for an example 0 0 8 likewise of let's say length of 20 and I can choose this sigma the value of C as let's say from 0 0.04 or let's say 0 0.02 to 1.5 of length of 20 so first we should run this um, set seat option in order to get the same consistent results like this all right so we'll see what will happen as as our results all right so let's see the results so if you run this object and if you so these are the so now we have like uh, 400 combinations of uh, sigma and c and for each of these 400 combinations they have specified the uh, accuracy so if you want to find the best tune values it should be what it should be when uh, sigma is equals to 0 0.003 cost is equals to uh, 0 0.0, to, uh, 0.0 sorry 0.2 all right so as a next step what you can do is as i mentioned in my uh, first couple of videos you can obtain this variable importance plot based on this support vector machine as well based on this yimp function at the same time if you want to obtain this uh, confusion matrix because here we are doing a, a classification then uh, in order to obtain this uh, confusion matrix uh, in uh, here also what you need to do is first you have to obtain a subset of these uh, predicted observations based on the optimal tuning parameters so to do that you can use this uh, subset function like this and inside uh, this subset function first you have to mention these uh, predicted observations and then you have to uh, subset that based on the optimal hype parameters like I mentioned in this code segment so you can just run this so I think first you have to modify this like this because here the objective is uh, model fit SVM1 so it should be like this model fit SVM1 all right so now you can just run this and then you can use this confusion matrix function inside the carrot package to obtain the confusion matrix like this so now you can see the accuracy has increase compared to what you observed based on a lasso logistic regression and random forest algorithm from my previous couple of videos now it is uh, about 0.975 and a sensitivity is equals to 0.966 and a specificity is equals to 0.99 so that's how we can use these a uh, support vector machine uh, to obtain uh, uh, to do this uh, k fold cost addition based on this a uh, nice package using R Studio. So if you think this video is useful to you, uh, please uh, subscribe my YouTube channel and I will post more useful videos in future. Thank you.